In this video, I explain you bypass governing system for a steam turbines. So if you know what is the meaning of bypass words, then you will understand the bypass governing system very easily. So I just give you the few of the examples related to the bypass words. So you hear that some persons are required to do the bypass heart surgery. Okay, so why this bypass heart surgery is required? That is a blood vents are blockage. Okay, means the blood supply to the hearts. So this blood is supplied by the vents and this vein is blockage. Okay, means the blood are not supplied to the hearts. So the person is required to provide the second vents to bypass this blockage. Means suppose here you see this is the one vents are there. And in this van here some blockage are there. Okay, so one van is installed from this side to this side. Okay, and here this heart is there. So it is called as the bypass. Okay, so you also hear that that is a bypass road is provided means uh, sometimes on the road some work is carried out. Okay, at that time some bypass road is provided. Okay, so same way in a bypass governing system there is a no blockage are there, no maintenance are going on. But its name is given the bypass governing because this additional quantity of the steam is required in a further stages. Okay, so we already know that the turbine is consist of the number of stages. Okay, so after the few stages, they are required the additional steam due to the more than economical loads. Okay, so here you see this bypass steam is added here with the steam coming out from this high pressure stage. Okay, this is the high pressure stage. So steam is coming out here. This bypass steam is mixed with the steam coming out from the first stage. Okay, and then after this steam is supplied to the further stages. Okay, so here this is a low pressure stages are there. So this steam are supplied. That's why its name is given to the bypass governing systems. So modern high pressure turbines are generally consist of number of stages. Okay, so I already explained that is a number of stages are there. And in the later on stages, the more mass is required. So this more mass of the steam is supplied by using this bypass lines. So such a turbines are usually designed for a definite load is called as economic load. Now what is the economic load? Economic load is 80% of the full load. I mean suppose the turbine capacity is to produce the 10 kilowatt of the power. Okay, that is the mechanical powers. Okay, and the 80% of the 10 kilowatt that is called as the 8 kilowatts. Okay, so 8 kilowatt is the economic load for the turbine. So at the economic load, the turbine have a maximum efficiency. Okay, so here we understand this economic word because it is required when we understand the bypass governing system in the details. Now we understand the disadvantages of the nozzle governing systems. Okay, so nozzle control governing cannot be used for multi stage impulse turbine due to small drop in a first stage okay so what is the disadvantage of nozzle control governing it is not used for the multi stage impulse turbine due to the small heat drop in a first stages so it is also desirable in a multi stage turbine to have a full admission into the high pressure stage to reduce the partial admission loss okay so in a multi stage turbine it is required to enter the full quantity of the steam in a first stage to avoid the partial admission losses. So this is the continue point in the disadvantages of the nozzle control governing when the turbine is required to operate at the maximum load. So additional steam is required in a nozzle control governing. So additional steam cannot be admitted in a first stage as the additional nozzles are not available in a nozzle control governing. Okay. So this disadvantage is carried out by the bypass governing system so in a such a case is bypass governing system is used so now here you see this is the complete diagrams of the bypass governing systems okay so steam is first come from the boiler and it is enter into this total valve so it is also called as the main valve from this main valve it is enter into this nozzle and from that it is enter into this fixed blade and the moving blades okay here you see this is the fixed blade moving blade fixed blade and moving blades are there okay and here you see this is the bypass valve okay so additional bypass was bypass steam is supplied from this bypass valve and this bypass steam is mixed with the steam coming out from the high pressure state means this here the number of stages are there and it is the higher pressure stage okay 
So steam coming out from the high pressure stage is mixed with the bypass steam and then further it is supplied to the low pressure stage. Okay. So place at which the steam is mixed means bypass steam and the steam coming out from the high pressure stage it is called as the steam belt. So this portion is called as the steam belt and this portion is called as the steam chest. For all the loads greater than the economic load a bypass wall is open okay means the when the load on the turbine or generator is more than 80 percent of its capacity at that time this bypass wall is open otherwise this bypass wall is closed okay so basic thing is that bypass wall is open only when the load is above to the economic load now economic load means load is more than 80 percentage okay at that time the bypass wall is open and when the bypass wall is open then what happen allowing a part of steam to be bypassed into the steam belt where the steam is mixed with the steam of high pressure stage and then it is supplied to the lower stage of turbines okay means when this bypass wall is open the bypass steam is supplied here and this bypass steam is mixed with the steam coming out from the high pressure stage in a steam belt and then after it is supplied to this low stage of the turbine the bypass wall is designed such that it is not open until the leap of the total wall excites a certain values means this that is a certain connections between this bypass wall and this total wall okay so that is a some limits are certain means suppose the total wall is open more than 80 percent or a 90 percent then and then this bypass wall is open okay so that is a some mechanisms are provided between this total wall and the bypass walls the total wall close first when the load is reduced means when the load on the turbine is reduced at that time first this total wall is close then the bypass wall remains under the control of speed governor for all the loads within the range means then after this bypass wall is controlled by the speed governor for all the loads within the range in later stage although there is a increase in work output means that is a stage other than the high pressure stage it is called as the later stages so in these later stages there is a increase in work output and the efficiency is low due to the throttling effect so in other stages we achieve the more work output but efficiency is reduced so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video subscribe my channel for watching the more video related to power plant engineering and other subject of this mechanical engineering for power plant engineering various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a car for other subject i request to visit this playlist